In this video, we're going to go over some of the algebra skills that you will need, especially in General Chem 2. Um, when we get into ice tables, you're going to have to deal with squaring uh, some things. Maybe it's been a while since we've done this. So we're going to spend a couple minutes reviewing, going over how we would do that and how we would plug it into the quadratic equation. All right, so this is something that you could get from an ice table. If you had, say, two products that were the same quantity plus x, well, when you put that into your ice table, that would be the same quantity plus x squared. And then this might be your reactant, um, some quantity minus x. And it's being set to the equilibrium constant. We have to solve for x. So the first thing we need to do is we've got to deal with squaring this numerator. So let's just kind of work off to the side here. When you have a plus b quantity squared, that's the same thing as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So if you have 0 0.32 plus x quantity squared, that would be, grab my calculator, 0.32 squared, so 0 0.1024, that's 0.32 squared, plus 2 times a, right, times b, so 2, 0 0.32b, plus x squared, oops, not b, x, okay, so 2 times 0.32 gives me 0.64. So that's 0 0.1024 plus 0 0.64x plus x squared. So this whole piece now has to go back in up here up top. And now we're just going to do some reduction from that. So we say to ourselves, okay, 3.71 is equal to 0 0.1024 plus 0.64x plus x squared, all being divided by 0 0.32 minus x. So now we've got to, again, do some reduction. And that's squared. Got a little sloppy there. Okay, so how do I get this by itself? Multiply. 0 0.32 minus x, multiply 0 0.32 minus x, okay? So now I've just got this to distribute, distribute, distribute. So on this side of the equation, we would say 0.32 times 3.71, so 1.1872 minus 3.71, x is equal to 0 0.1024 plus 0 0.64x plus x squared. Now we're going to combine like terms. Okay, that's still on the screen. Good. Now we're going to combine like terms. So let's see. Let's get all my x's and everything over here so we can put it into a quadratic form. So we're going to say plus 3.71x plus 3.71x, and we're going to say minus 1.1872 minus 1.1872. So now we get 0 equals 0 0.1024 minus 1.1872, so it gives me this value, minus 1.0848. Eight. Now we're going to add those together. 0.64 plus 3.71, 4.05x plus x squared. All right, now it's in quadratic form, which is something I could put into my calculator. I mean, if you've got a graphing calculator. <laughs> if we don't have a graphing calculator, then we're going to have to do it by hand. So, quadratic formula is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, right? So a is one, b is 4.05, and here is c, negative 1.0848. All righty, so I'm gonna have to move this problem down here. 
Running out of room. So the quadratic formula, the solution to this, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So now I'm just going to plug a, b, and c into my quadratic equation and solve for x. All right, so we have negative 4.05 plus or minus the square root of 4.05 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1.0848, all divided by 2, and a is 1. So that means we've got negative 4.05 plus or minus the square root of, let's do some reduction here, 16.5. Four zero three minus four times one point zero eight four eight. Now this is minus a negative, so we're going to add that together. Four point three three nine two all over two. So that'll be negative four point oh five plus or minus. Let's do some reduction here. I just realized that I've got this in the wrong place. All right, there we go. This needs to be here. A is one. All right. So 16 plus 16.4039 plus blah, 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 these two values, plus 16.403. And now we're going to take the square root of that. Okay. So this is negative 4.05 plus or minus square root of that. 4.55 all over 2. So now we're going to get two roots negative 4.05 plus 4.55 divided by 2, and we're also going to get negative 4.05 minus 4.55 over 2. So when we do our arithmetic here, divided by 2, we get 0 0.25, and we do it this way, Oops, 4.05 minus 4.55, we get 4.3. Now for us as chemists, we would pick the answer that makes sense, right? Oh, that means negative. Uh, because we're not going to have a negative concentration, this would be our answer that we would use as x. And plug back into our ice table. All right. So that's one problem, taking a quantity and squaring it and then doing our reduction, okay? And let's go through another example of something that you could see. Uh, but before I do, I want to pause the recording so if you need to write any of this down, you have the chance. Okay, so while you were jotting that down, I erased the board and put some more information so you didn't have to watch me erasing the board. Here's a nice table that would have given us a situation like the problem we just solved. If you had some reactant and it's decomposing, right? Let's just begin, pretend you began with 0.32 molar concentration of each. A is going to go down by some quantity x. Uh, B is going to go up by some quantity x. C is going to go up by some quantity x. And we have the K value of 3.71, so that means that this is product favored, right? So this is a product favored reaction. which means we can't use our lovely, 100, our lovely wonderful 5% approximation 
right? You can only use that for something that's reactive favored. This would give you a situation where you'd have to solve a problem like what we just did, all right? So we go through all the reduction, we put it through the quadratic equation solver, we got x equals negative 4.3 and x equals 0.25. Now here's where I say you have to look at your roots and pick the one that makes sense. If you plug in a negative value here, you're going to get nonsense, all right? So that one can't make sense. 0 0.25 would be the answer that makes sense. Okay, so let's do a second problem. Let's pretend, I'm just gonna rewrite this one I had a minute ago over here. 0 0.16 is equal to x squared over 0 0.15 minus x. And just for the sake of argument, because this is react in favor, we would be using our 5% approximation. So just for fun, let's pretend that it's something product favored so that we couldn't use our 5% approximation. Let's just pretend that equilibrium constant is 5.1. So ice table that could give us something like that. I see. You've got 0 0.15 minus x. You've got x and you've got x plus x plus x minus x, 0 0.15, 0, 0. So we've got A in equilibrium with B plus C, and we're told K is equal to 5.1. Okay, if K is equal to 5, then by definition, we can't use our wonderful, awesome 5% approximation. When we solve the quadratic equation, I mean, when we plug in our ice table, we see, oh man, I'm gonna have to do quadratic equation. Okay, so again, this is the kind of thing where if you've got a product favored, right, product favored, so we couldn't use our 5% approximation, which means we would have to solve the quadratic formula. So we have to do some arithmetic. So how do I get rid of this denominator? I multiply both sides, 0 0.15 minus x, 0 0.15 minus x. So I need to distribute this, that goes away. So when we do our arithmetic, 0.15 times five gives me 0 0.75 minus, oops, it was 0.15 times 5.1, gives me 0 0.765 minus 5.1x is equal to x squared. So there's significantly less data and less, less number crunching to do here before I can plug it into my quadratic equation because I want to have everything set to zero. All I need to do is just move this term over here, make it negative x squared, and now we have negative x squared plus, let's put them in the term we're familiar with, minus 5.1x plus 0 0.765 equals zero. All right, so our A term is negative one, our B term is negative 5.1, and our C term is 0 0.765. So X is equal to the negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A. In the previous example, I had to stop myself because I put the 2a right here, right? The entire numerator is being divided by 2a. So we start getting to work, right? So x equals negative of a negative plus or minus the square root of negative 5.1 squared minus 4a is negative 1 and C is 0 0.765 all over two times negative one. Okay, so we get negative of a negative is a positive, right? So 5.1 plus or minus the square root of 5.1 squared, 26.01 minus a negative will give me a positive. So four times 0 0.765, 3.06, all over negative two. So 5.1 plus or minus 
What's the square root of this? Plus 26.01. Take the square root. So 5.1 plus or minus 5.39 all over negative 2. So now let's split that up into my two roots. So that's 5.1 plus 5.39 divided by negative 2. And that's 5.1 minus 5.39 divided by negative 2. Okay? So we get 5.1 plus 5.39 divided by negative, oops, 5.1 plus 5.39 divided by negative 2. It gives me negative 5.245 and then 5.1 minus 5.39 divided by 2. Negative two, zero point one four five. Okay, so which answer is going to make sense in my ice table? Well, if I plug in this value, I'm going to get a nonsense answer, right? Because I can't have a negative concentration. So this is the answer for x that would make sense that I would plug back in to my ice table. All right, I'm going to pause the video here so you can jot down any of this. All right, so I hope this problem's helped you with some of the issues that I see with students in solving the quadratic equation and expanding binomials and all that fun stuff. Um, again, these are the kinds of problems that you would see in ice tables that are specifically going to be product favored, right? As we learned about in class, when you've got a k value less than 1, usually you can make your 5% approximation. And that makes all of this go away. Everybody is happy, right? But if k is greater than 1, then you're going to have to do the long haul. So I hope this helps you with some of the math that you've seen this semester so far. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.